Good morning, folks. My neighbor just stopped by and gave me a couple dozen eggs. He had four dozen. He had four dozen eggs, but I said I'd take two. And I offered him some money, but he didn't want it. I just got two dozen eggs for free, and some of them have double yolk. I've got a big project. I got to start today. Been having a lot of cows walking through the area. Boom, I did it. I don't have it installed yet. I'm so afraid to cut a hole in my roof, but I found out I don't want to put it out the window for a whole bunch of reasons. I know some of you guys are going to disagree, but it is what it is. I'm so afraid to uh, cut a hole in my roof, but it's got to be done. I'm going to do it right about here. It's got to be an exact five inches. The saline's really only like this thick. And I had to put some pieces together in order to make this work. I'm going to use this as a double wall that I found. This will go in the hole there. <sighs> yeah, it's just connecting a bunch of random pieces. This is exactly five inches, so I'm going to use that. Uh, for my outline. This part goes on the roof. This seal here, I've got high, seat, uh, high heat sealant. And I think that I've got everything down except for the hole. <laughs> the hole that I don't wanna cut. Darn it. It's really, it's pretty far away from everything. I've got the firewall back here. So I think the way I'm gonna do it, is I'm going to draw an outline right here where I want it. And I'm going to drill holes up into it. And then I'm going to feel around for wires and stuff like that. And then I'm going to take a jigsaw and try to do a perfect circle upside down. Good luck, Mike! Alright, I started off with a really small drill bit. And just felt around, see if there's if I there's a stud or anything up there. I didn't think that there would be a stud because I figured this is where the stud's at. Anyways, then I went to a bigger drill bit and felt around. There's obviously foam insulation on the roof here, which I will have to cut back. But I uh, went all the way around here, and now I think I could stick the jigsaw blade in here. Just do a little piece by little piece all the way around. That's the plan. I'm just, I just got up and I'm just gonna start doing this because otherwise I'm gonna think about it and overthink it and overthink it. Then the the rain's gonna start, you know. <laughs> right now, the weather says I've got a couple days of uh, no rain, so. Today's gotta be the day. I tell you what, I didn't expect it to be built so well. I thought this hole would just fall out when I cut it. But is it, this is actually glued to the foam board up there, which is nice. It's well built. I've got the winter package on this RV. All right, now would be a really good time to have one of those vacuums. That is a, Really, really thin roof.
All right, so this is what it looks like from here. It's far enough away from that. Far enough away from the panel. It's, it's more than six inches off the roof. Um, I still have room for another panel right here, which is nice. I think this is a good spot and it's not super obvious. Let me show you, I'll get down and I'll show you. All right, if you see what I mean, it's not too obvious that I have a uh, wood burning stove in this. You can't even see it from here. Still can't see it. And you can see it a little bit now, but it's a pretty low profile. So, I mean, obviously it's gonna be pretty obvious when smoke's coming out of it, but yeah, good times. All right, folks, let me know what you uh, thought of the install. I'll see you guys in the next video. I got a lot of cleanup to do. This 500 actually, actually ran this, which is pretty cool. This went about three, 400 uh, watts. Not bad. For such a, a cheap tool, I'm pretty impressed. Now I got some inside work on this to do. I'm not finished yet. Actually, yeah, I'm not finished yet. So I'll show you in a second.